just want to run through some of the features of these snorkel masks um, from the point of view of CO2 retention. Um, if you were to breathe the entire volume of the mask back and forth into your nose or mouth, CO2 would build up inside the mask. You start to feel really uh, unpleasant. So, um, although these are cheap, um, they've clearly been very well designed. There's a lot of thought being put into them. And the way they basically work is, if you look at the port, there are actually three lumens, a central and two lateral ones. Now, when you breathe in, assuming this mask part makes a good seal against your face, gas comes in mainly through the centre port, hits this deflector, which is supposed to help clear the, any mist off the screen, then goes into these two valves here and into your nose or mouth. Now, when you breathe out, these two valves shut and most of the gas is supposed to go round two channels which are m built into the frame which run round here and they emerge left and right here. Now the worry is from my point of view uh, or I should just say uh, I think there's, a, there's an additional expiratory valve here I suspect that's probably to eject water actually. Um, if you blow out hard it would it would squirt out the water and similar valves are to be found on normal J-shaped uh, tubes at the bottom of the J, snorkel tubes. Some of the adapters we've seen such as this one, this is version 7 of one on the web, you notice when it's fully inserted it blocks off the two lateral channels so that means you'll breathe in through the center channel in through the two holes and you'll breathe out entirely through this vent here now if you compare that with one where these are not blocked off um, this happens to be a double one but you can see there's no uh, there's no um, differentiation between the center and the lateral ones the question is will there be more co2 rebreathing these tests I'm just going to use one uh, filter uh, the reason double splitter ones exist is because the work of breathing through one of these is uh, it's okay but it's not pleasant and people have suggested online that having two uh, is better I'd probably agree with that so for the test though because I'm just going to use one on with both devices I'll use this connected to this I will block off one of the ports on the Y and connect my filter there and then we can do a, a reasonable back-to-back -back test and look at my own end tidal CO2. First of all, I'll just breathe with this just inside my mouth just to see what my baseline end tidal CO2 is. Okay, so 4.5, 4.6, that's about kind of hoping that's what it would be. Re reasonably normal. So for our first test then we're going to use this one which blocks off the lateral ports with a single filter and it will go on there like that it fits pretty well it's quite good locks into place and we'll see we'll breathe on this for about 10 minutes and we'll just see what my end tidal co2 uh, stabilizes at For test number two then, I'm going to block off one of the ports of this splitter. You can see all the, the inhaled and exhaled gases will merge here because we're not blocking off the sides and uh, we'll use the same filter that we used before. So we'll clip that on again, it fits quite well. It's not a bad 3D print, snaps into place and we'll see how we get on with this one. What I was trying to do there was um, 
do what you would do when diving, which is to take slow, measured breaths, reasonably deep breaths, um, rather than short breaths, which um, would enhance CO2 buildup. To conclude, um, in my opinion, the work of breathing is actually noticeably less with this one, same filter, than with this one, because with this version you're breathing through all the ports rather than just the central one. Um, it may at first sight appear wrong that this is uh, the, the conclusion I reach. However, um, so long as you're not breathing gas in and out of the main mask, you're just rebreathing CO2 from this mask, the channels up to the filter and then back. And what I noticed was that with the um, with this version, I was breathing mainly in and out through the filter. There was very little gas coming out here in ex exhalation. With this version, with the lateral ports blocked, I was breathing in through the central channel, uh, down through these valves into the mask. And then when breathing out, some would come out here and some would go back up. So that's probably why, on balance, there's not a huge difference between the two arrangements.